Hello students and welcome to your, your video lecture. Today we will be practicing your pronunciation because remember in the oral exams I will be checking your pronunciation, I will be listening at all times and I want you to pronounce correctly. So, deep tones and linking. We already know that in Spanish we have strong vowels and weak vowels. So remember uh, that, that thing that when I pronounce the weak vowels, my mouth will look closer, closed. And when I pronounce the strong vowels, my mouth is wider. A, E, I, O, U. So, you know, E and U are the weak vowels. So, this will help you because you have to consider this when you're pronouncing a word. Hermano, repeat with me. Hermano, niña, cuñado. Let's repeat this again because the ñ it's really important. Cuñado, cuñado, ña ña. Good. Ruido. What we have here, we have a diphthong. Do you know what a diphthong is? A diphthong is a combination of two weak vowels or a weak vowel and a strong vowel. So like in here, you and e and i are uh, weak vowels, so ruido. It sounds like ruido. You just say it in, uh, in one syllable, ruido, ruido. Parientes. Periodista. Periodista. Good? And you can tell that this is the strong one, right? Periodista. The, the O is stronger. Uh, la abuela. What we got here, that uh, this, the article is la. So we have an A. Then the word starts with an A. So when we have this phenomenon, we will link those and we won't say la abuela because that's not the way you speak you just link those two la abuela repeat good mijo yes this is very common in spanish mijo not mi hijo but mijo una clase excelente good now what's going on in here uh, we is the same thing in like as in there, but with consonants. Con Natalia, you don't say it sounds like a long consonant. Con Natalia, sus sobrinos, las sillas. Now in here, we have a consonant and a vowel, so it will sound like it's the same word like we only have one word they are two but it will sound like two words like one word es ingeniero mis abuelos it sounds it sound like misa mis abuelos sus hijos good mi hermano su esposa nuestro amigo a vowel that end of a word, a vowel at the end of a word is linked with the vowel at the beginning of the next word, all right? So it's the same as in there. Doesn't matter if it's the same one or if it's different. If you have two vowels, you will link them. All right, so now go there and try to practice pronunciating historia and you have a, a homework about this. But let's move to the other topic. Let's move to page 89. Mm, 89. All right. This will be really important for you to know because we will learn about the accent marks when you have to write an accent mark and when you don't have to. Uh, so let's first uh, learn what is an stress syllable. An stress syllable is the syllable that sounds stronger. Alright? So like in here, 
película, película. If you repeat the word película, you will notice that the stress vowel is there. It's so uh, we know that every Spanish word has at least one vowel, and if it has more than one vowel, uh, we have we will have difficult. Uh, but you just need to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, and you'll see which one is the the strong. So, for uh, what else we need to know? The syllable of a Spanish word that it's pronounced most emphatically is a, a stressed syllable. All right, we know that. Words that end in oh, all right. This is our rule. This is something that you need to learn, so you can write the correct accents in the vowels. Words that end in N, S, or a vowel you are usually stressed on the next to last syllable. So we have pelota. You see, pelota. It sounds in lota. That's why it's marked in here, pelota. But since it's ending in a vowel and the strong one is next to last, we, don't, we won't need a written accent. The same in here. Piscina. Piscina. We don't need an, a written accent because it's ending with in a vowel. And in here, it's ending with S. But it's, it, the strong one is next to last. So it won't need a written accent. Ratos. Repeat. Good. And hablan. It's ending with an N, we don't need an accent. Why? Because the strong one is the next to last. But when the strong one is in the last syllable and it's ending with N, S, or a vowel, we will need a written accent. All right? So just try to memorize that. It's not that hard. It's only the N, the S, or any vowel. So. Whenever we have an N, S, or a vowel, and the strong one falls in the last syllable, you need an, N, an accent. Natación. Natación. All right? Accent there, because it's ending with N. Papá. It's ending with a vowel, so accent there. And, all right, it's ending with a vowel, but the strong one is there, so accent. Inglés. Inglés, all right, accent because it's ending with an S. And Jose, Jose, ending with a vowel, accent. Now let's see when a word do not end in N, S, or a vowel. Can you see here? All right, there. When a word do, do not end in N, S, or a vowel, uh, are usually stress on the last syllable all right this this is like a something that happens often bailar español universidad trabajador is ending with it's not ending with n s or a vowel it's just ending with consonant that is not n or s and the strong one is falling in the end, just like in here. But since it's not ending in N, S, or vowel, you will need the accent. Easy, right? And last of these little rules. If words that do not end in N, S, or vowel are stressed in the next to last syllable, you will need an, answer, an accent. All right? So, baseball. The strong one is in the next to last and is not ending in N, S, or vowel, so we need a written accent. Repeat, lapis. Good. Árbol. Gómez. You see? Uh, oh, and this is really important for you to remember. Zeta, zeta is not S, so it doesn't count. 
you need an accent in here because it's not an S or a vowel. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Now I want you to go to your website and look for the exercise that is due for this uh, Wednesday and you'll find some exercise about pronunciation, some dictation. Go there and practice and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye!